Now let's talk about the other side, the United States. What does America's arsenal look like? Is the U.S. ready to fight a war? Apparently not. Questions are being raised about America's battle readiness. A new report highlights a series of failures. The U.S. faces a challenge on three fronts. Number one, delays in acquiring modern weapons. Number two, cost overruns. And number three, serious shortages. Moral of the story, Americans feel they're not war ready. Let's tell you about this one by one. First, the delay in acquiring modern weapons. Recently, the U.S. made a major commitment to Ukraine. And it was widely reported. Western powers are giving battle tanks to Ukraine. America plans to send 31 tanks. Which tanks are these? The M1 Abrams tanks. They're supposed to be among the best, but they're also quite old. They entered service way back in 1980, during the Cold War. The U.S. Army still uses them. They haven't been able to find a replacement. Same with hypersonic missiles. America began developing hypersonic missiles in the early 2000s. But where are the missiles? Still not ready, at least not in America's arsenal. Compare that to China, their new arch rival. China has conducted two hypersonic weapons tests. Even Russia has launched hypersonic missiles. But not the United States. America is trying to catch up. And how did the mighty US fall behind? Well, some of it was because of its big bets they did not pay off. These were major projects with massive budgets, but they did not deliver. And now that's hurting America's war readiness, which brings us to problem number two, the cost overruns. In 2003, the US Army went ahead with an ambitious program, the Future Combat Systems Program. Under this program, new combat vehicles were being developed, a fleet of light electric powered battle tanks. And they had a lot of promise. Going by one claim, these tanks would have helped America, quote-unquote, wage the wars of tomorrow. Do you know how much money the U.S. spent on this? Around $18 billion. That's according to one report, $18 billion. And did America get the tanks? No, it did not. The program failed to deliver. It was cancelled in the year 2009, six years after it was first announced. Programs like these are a bet on America's military-industrial complex. The government pays, and the private sector is supposed to deliver cutting-edge weapons. That's how it works. But the military-industrial complex is now failing. It is no longer delivering, and that is America's big problem. Now let's talk about the shortages. The war in Ukraine has depleted the American stockpile. In October, there were shortages across the board. The U.S. shared javelin missiles with Ukraine. How many? Around one-third of its stockpile. Reports say it will take years to restock the javelins. Same with the HIMARS, the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. HIMARS are rocket launchers. The U.S. will have to buy more of them. And who will pay for it? The American taxpayer. The U.S. Defense Department got a budget approval. What is the budget of the Pentagon? A whopping $858 billion. And there is an emergency provision in this budget. It says, if needed, the U.S. government can enter into multi-year contracts. This is for high-priority munitions. These are wartime procurement powers just to refill American stockpiles, which brings me back to the question we began with. Is America prepared to fight a war? What if China attacked Taiwan today? What if NATO decided to fight Russia and Ukraine? Is the U.S. prepared to counterattack? Will its stockpiles last? Right now, they're shooting down spy balloons and firing verbal missiles. That incident exposed a big gap in American defenses and an even bigger gap in their approach. They shot down a $12 hobby club balloon with a $400,000 missile. That's America for you. Overreacting superpower, losing its firepower.